Welcome to the video guys, in something that never seems to end, especially when it comes to the coronavirus situation. Now we are hearing that apparently UK teachers are going to be biased against minority ethnic background students when they give them predicted grades due to the cancelled exams, as most people know. With Sky News reporting on it today, coronavirus bias concern for BAME students as exams cancelled. A letter to the government claims that those from BAME backgrounds are often disproportionately disadvantaged by bias. Yeah, of course they are. We see that every day. The exam regulator in England says it is alert to concerns about unconscious bias, as GCSE and A-level pupils are awarded grades after their exams were cancelled due to the lockdown. So, teachers out there, you are now being accused of having an unconscious bias that is leading you to give so-called BAME students lower grades because of this apparent unconscious bias. I would say I can't believe this nonsense is happening, but it literally happens all the time. Now, the school teachers are thoroughly in the crosshairs, it would seem. Ofpool says it is consulting on how to implement arrangements for the summer to help ensure students are fairly rewarded. The Department for Education acknowledges on its website that students from disadvantaged backgrounds are more likely to have their grades underpredicted, which may be true, but it also acknowledges that most grade predictions are flat wrong, so that shouldn't surprise anyone in the slightest. And to me, it just seems like they're picking something out and trying to jump on it for a quick race bait, like their name was David Lammy. A letter to the Education Secretary signed by a group of experts and academics and initiated by the race equality think tank, the Runny Me Trust, highlights concern that black and minority ethnic pupils are disproportionately disadvantaged by any bias. It warns steps need to be taken to ensure students from lower socio-economic backgrounds do not lose out on opportunities to attend more selective universities. Which, I don't know about you guys, but to me, that sounds like they're essentially calling for some affirmative action. Which is ridiculous for a number of reasons, but most importantly, is disrespectful to the BAME community that they claim to be trying to help. I know personally, I would be rather annoyed if something was granted to me because of something I have no control of and I didn't earn. We're worried about the long-term ramifications and we're worried that a gross injustice will be done, says Zubida Hack, the Runny Me Trust Deputy Director. If more checks and balances, in particular equality impact assessments, are not introduced into the predicted grading system, then there will be a long-standing impact. So, I wonder what these checks and balances actually are, and what the hell equality impact assessments are going to do. Is that your way of saying, give something to someone based on the colour of their skin, and refuse it to others based on the colour of their skin? Because to me, it sounds like that could be kind of racist. A man for Reed was due to sit his A-levels this summer and needs straight A's to secure his place at University College London. At his home in Coventry, he has piles of revision notes he no longer needs. With exams cancelled because of the coronavirus outbreak, like all A-level students, his grades will be determined by teacher assessment and exam boards, looking at how pupils at his school have performed in the past. So, it's not biased against them, it's literally everyone getting the same treatment. Like I said at the beginning of this video, they are essentially saying that UK teachers are biased against the BAME community when predicting their grades, therefore calling them racist. The cheek of these people when you factor in that the government called teachers part of the essential workforce, so like the NHS, essentially heroes. Not apparently to these race-baiting organisations here though. It is really unsettling to have this taken out of my control, he says. Yes, I agree it must be unsettling, but everyone is unsettled by it, I'm sure. It's got nothing to do with your ethnicity. Where the fairness of standardised exams comes in is everyone is working towards the same goal and there's no bias on the part of the teachers there. But the teachers grading them, they're going to have some bias now because of reasons, I guess. Shut up. Now, it fully depends on the student's responsiveness to the teacher. 
the student's ability to fully engage throughout the year and perhaps an inability to connect with teachers who are from a different background or a different race, which might not be a deliberate thing, it probably does surface at point. Oh, okay then, so if a teacher doesn't get on with you like you're their best friend, then they must have some racial bias against you. The Runny Me Trust cites research published in 2017 that found most A-level predictions by teachers were wrong. In the majority of cases, grades were over-predicted. So it just goes to show that humans are humans and will make mistakes. However, among high achieving students, those from underprivileged backgrounds were more likely to have grades under predicted than pupils of similar ability, but from far more privileged families. Which to me says it's more classist than racist, but of course the race baiters of the world have to jump on it like a bitch on E. The study was carried out by Dr. Jill Winas from UCL, who told Sky News, I would urge the government to closely examine the grade predictions of students from underrepresented backgrounds. It could be unconscious bias, it could be that those students are late performers and they do much better in exams than we potentially would expect them to do, or they could just not do very well and the predicted grades could be right. Once again, it's got nothing to do with unconscious bias. It's called a prediction. You get it wrong, you get it right. They are the outcomes of a prediction in general. Take a look at the Brexit predictions. Look at the disaster that was supposed to happen and what actually happened. I suppose them predictions being wrong was racist somewhere also. I love how he's just assuming that everyone's going to do great in their exams when I'm sure that's not the case. But you know what, I've had enough of reading this race baiting nonsense. I only wanted to quickly go over it because it's absolutely ridiculous and is essentially saying that UK teachers are racist, which practically joins every other person in the United Kingdom and is really starting to get on my nerves now. Now before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot and I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires, <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.